A non-governmental organization on gender and climate change has taken an awareness advocacy to the FCT and the area councils. The two-day training workshop is aimed to train leaders who will in turn train the community on the importance of learning the effects of sol and solutions of climate change. The Quebec Kache Women Development and Resource Center is a non-governmental organization based in Portacourt River State. The organization's main objective is to advocate for women's inclusiveness and to ensure that women are accorded equal rights and roles as their male counterparts. According to the program manager, I don't said smart, the organization is set up to ensure that women are given a voice in the society and properly educated to understand aspects of life that will upgrade their mental alertness to navigate the challenges of life. In African society, they believe women are supposed to be seen and not to be heard. But Kebekase is um, trying to promote gender balance. We are trying to create gender equality in the society and trying to ensure that women are being included in decision-making processes in different levels, starting from the communities to the state to the national. So today we are training the, the community leaders, the um, counselors, community women, the youth, uh, and the local um, local government on what we call national uh, national action plan on gender and climate change we want the national action plan to be localized in the in the community levels because most community people do not actually understand what we by, what we mean by national action plan Oxfam Nigeria, who are the main sponsors as well as the facilitator, explained the importance of the training, especially for women and leaders at the sub-nationals, for them to understand the effect of gender and climate change on the social, political and economic lives of citizens. We want to see... Um you know, community leaders and held presence in the in the house today. We want to see them that they are more equipped, that their capacity are being strengthened, and they are able to deploy all of the action plans and points um, shared in um, the the meeting today, and also affect all of those plans. We realize that there is still a great deal of misconception around sex and gender. A lot of people use them interchangeably, and that is the basic of basic um, foundation of all of this. If you don't even understand what gender means that it is a social construct and not a biological rule you may not understand the gendered impact of climate change on women how it disproportionately affects women so we are looking at localizing this working with people in the local communities legislators community members representatives of the women representatives of the market women everybody coming together to chime in to see how they can understand what is in the national action plan on gender and climate change take it back to their communities and translate it into advocacy plans and more importantly implementation action participants express their satisfaction on the training promising to impart it on members of their various communities a lot of teachings both we the male and the female that are with us that will take it back to our domain that uh, our people will be enlightened how the climate and genders are changed in our domain so that there are many that are ignorant of all this is has happening so it's a great one for us to have to come to this uh, program in our everyday life we should be conscious of the activities that we play the roles that we stand for as individuals because most of the things that we do affect either us or our surrounding environment there are so many things in our environment that have been built from these trees and by the time you cut them down it affects production it affects our economic economy at large so in other words the some of these things that we do as it affects us directly we should curtail 